Hello everyone. So as we mentioned before that biosphere includes all regions of life. Now we will continue into classifying furthermore the levels of organization in biosphere. Starting from the atom, the atomic level and proceeding into the individual's level, the most important point which is what are the functions and structures and smaller structures of this biosphere? At the end of lesson, you will be able to mention the levels of organization, discuss the main characteristics of living organisms, classify types of feeding methods, define the food chain. Can you answer? What are the smaller structures that make your body? Let's see. Our topics are levels of organization, main characteristics of living organisms, types of feeding methods, food chain. Atoms are the smallest units of matter. They contain smaller particles. Smaller particles are positive protons, negative electrons, and neutrons, which have no charge. These atoms together build up the molecules which are arranged in special forms to make organelles. Organelles are specialized structures. They are further arranged to make cells. A cell is the building block of living organisms. Cells clump together to make tissues. Cells are considered as the building blocks for us. Tissues can build up organs. A number of organs can build a system. These systems can be gathered to make the whole individual which can move independently. This individual has many signs of life, such as genetic materials responding to a stimulus, reproducing, growing, and obtaining energy from different resources. An individual is considered as a building stone to make a population that is formed from the same species. Then moving to a wider arrangement, you see that a community consists of different animals that live in a certain area. Combining both biotic and abiotic factors together is called an ecosystem. When you zoom out, you will find out that biomes consist of different areas that are characterized by their own characteristics, such as deserts and forests. Finally, you would reach the biosphere, which contains all life forms. Inside us, there are a lot of chemical reactions that occur daily for maintaining our health. Organisms need energy for growth and the metabolic processes that are essential to live. For example, plants can use sunlight energy. Plants are called autotrophs. They can use and store energy. They are called primary producers. On the other hand, consumers such as animals cannot obtain energy directly but they depend on others in getting energy. They are called heterotrophs and are classified according to their feeding methods into herbivores, feed on plants, omnivores, feed on both plants and animals. Other methods of feeding can be discussed later. As you can see, energy transfers from one organism to another in different ways and forms. We can arrange these organisms according to their order in utilizing energy in a food chain. Summary Atoms are the smallest units of matter. Cells are considered as the building blocks for us. An individual has many signs of life. The biosphere contains all life forms. Complete Carnivores eat Organisms need for growth and metabolic processes. Organelles are specialized structures they are arranged to make. Carnivores eat other animals. Organisms need energy for growth and metabolic processes. Organelles are specialized structures they are arranged to make cells.